breaking news in the impeachment trial of President Trump. Overnight, key Republican Senator Lamar Alexander came out against calling witnesses and convicting President Trump, even though he believes President Trump's behavior was wrong. That sets up what could be a quick endgame for the trial. Our senior congressional correspondent, Mary Bruce, is tracking all the latest on Capitol Hill. Good morning, Mary. Good morning, George. Well, it was a night of high drama here. The Capitol on pins and needles for hours late into the night, waiting to see where these key Republicans were going to land. But this morning, Republicans seem all but certain to have the votes to block additional witnesses. And President Trump is now heading for a speedy acquittal. Thank you, Thank you very much. Senator Lamar Alexander leaving the Capitol late last night after delivering a blow to Democrats. A key swing vote, the Tennessee senator announcing he will oppose calling additional witnesses in the impeachment trial, saying in a statement there is no need for more evidence to prove something that has already been proven. And while he calls the president's actions inappropriate, Alexander says it does not meet the Constitution's high bar for an impeachable offense. His support potentially sealing the case for Republicans. Alexander, one of four Republicans who for days have kept Capitol Hill guessing. Another, Senator Susan Collins of Maine, announcing overnight she will break with her party and support new witnesses, saying in a statement it would give each side the opportunity to more fully and fairly make their case. A spokesperson for Senator Mitt Romney says he will also vote in favor, while another key moderate, Lisa Murkowski of Alaska, told reporters last night she needed to sleep on her decision. All eyes on her every move and every question, like this one that struck to the heart of the witness debate over Trump's former national security advisor, John Bolton, who reportedly writes in his upcoming book that Trump directly linked military aid to Ukraine to investigations into his rivals. Why should this body not call Ambassador Bolton? The Trump team's answer pointing to the process in the House. The House could have pursued Ambassador Bolton. They chose not to subpoena him. But another Murkowski question suggested there's no need to hear from Bolton, asking if it's true his allegations don't rise to the level of impeachment. But Democrats pushing back. This president, next president, can abuse their power all they want as long as they think their reelection is in the national interest. I think our founders would be aghast that anyone would make that argument on the floor of the Senate. The president overnight in Iowa reveling a likely vote to acquit. This is a happy period for us. It's a happy period because we call this impeachment light. And Trump promising Democrats another loss. We will make sure that they face another crushing defeat right in 2020. Now, Republicans are looking to move quickly here. That vote on witnesses is expected to fail later this afternoon. And then Republicans want to plow ahead to a full vote on the articles of impeachment. George, the president could be acquitted as soon as tonight. Starting to move fast. Okay, Mary, thanks very much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.